are a yummy audience. Even if I don't know what's going on around here, you're beautiful. Hey, doing a single is a show business phrase for going it alone. Now, it's a tough enough problem when you're talking about marriage, but when you're talking about a marriage and a career, it takes a lot of courage. Well, my first guest did it, and now it's history. She's everybody's favorite date on Sunday nights. Here's Cher. You've let yourself go. You gained some weight. <laughs> you gained? Are you gained? I bet I you gained, gained a, a couple. No, I, I weigh about 106 pounds. Oh. oh. I know it's a shame. It's rough. But what, what do you have? I mean, what is your daily diet? Uh, celery stick and three sesame seeds. What no, do you have? I, I like uh, Jack in the Box tacos and. Oh yeah, so do and, I. And malts and pizzas and spaghetti and stuff like that. You like malts and pizza? Do you ever eat them? Oh yeah, I love them. And you I don't do all that junk. I'm not a You know that until this moment, I really thought of you. I mean, I felt a great affection and warmth and friendship and empathy towards you. You can eat a pizza and spaghetti <laughs> and uh, Jack in the Box, anything you want, and, yeah. and you don't gain any weight? Well, I, I no. You don't. <laughs> How do you feel about somebody like that? <laughs> oh, come See, on, I told you, you, if you fatten up, you'll get like the rest of us. <laughs> no, but. I, well... No, you... It, you what can I do about you it? You stay just... Huh, well, ask me. I'll tell you. Oh, it's so easy. I mean, you know, I really have to worry about keeping a little meat on these bones. It really is a problem. Well, you're doing a good job. I think yeah, it I know. Nice. I would say... You didn't have to say that. No, I think it... I think it looks terrific. Uh, yeah, it's becoming. It depends on the type you have. Look, you get any static from CBS or the public or anything about uh, what you wear? On your shows? Oh, come on. No? Yes. Yes. CBS, yes. well, I don't know. They think that... I think they think I'm the first woman on television that was born with a belly button. <laughs> it's true. Right, I mean, it's just... <laughs> That's right. But I... You know what? I always... I don't know if you guys even realize this or think about it, but I always dress strangely because I kind of think that it's fun, and I think that people enjoy to see things on television that they can't see everywhere you know i agree so it's not so much for shock value because i have a nice figure i mean i i like it it's not the best it's kind of like someone told me once it's like a, a clothes hanger i mean you just hang stuff on it and it no 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 shape to get in the way of the line of the dress oh. just something you just hang it and it's nice right that is you know that's not so but there are a lot of people that you, that you could hang the clothes no i was with. born in the right period i mean if i'd been born uh during marilyn monroe's time mm -hmm. it would have been no stardom for me, because I look the same from the back as the front. <laughs> Just old. I don't think so. I think no. Those, uh, they really uh, back from the front. Uh, you don't look like a boy, no matter what you try. It's I, it was really strange. When Raquel and I were working together, she did my show. I said, we look like the number 18 standing together, because she's like, really, you know, and hips Carol. and everything. Raquel. Raquel, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right, 18. Yes. That's right, you both looked about 18. No, too. no, yeah. she, she's got a great That's figure. Mm. Yeah. Well, nothing wrong with yours. What kind of suggestions do they give you about what? Anything special they talk to you about? Any, uh, oh. About how to change it? They just say cover it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, everybody, wait, there's that moment when you open the show and you're covered to here, you know, that's about all that's showing. And you sing the verse and it's, and then all of a sudden, wow! You know, that's, it's fun. Yeah. Right, it's, sure. it's interesting, I think. I, I don't know, I love clothes. I just yeah, I think that too. they're fun. I do too. I really and love And when clothes. I go around, you know, during the day, today I wore a dress. I don't know why, it's really I strange. I know you came to rehearsal now. So that's the first time I've I ever see. even, had, it was a strange impulse, but yeah. I usually hang out in my jeans and a t-shirt, yeah. a sweatshirt or something like I've that. I've seen you around here, I know. Yeah, oh, I look awful. No, no one even don't. recognizes me. Yeah, they'd recognize you. Look, has the success of the show had a big effect? on your life? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, it's strange. It, we were talking about it a minute ago yeah. when we were just goofing around. Uh, 
I just work all the time, it seems. Yeah. I know we both were talking about that, and we started, we we're going to do a little song later on. And I asked Cher when, you know, when her show would premiere, and it's September the 14th yeah. is the opening date of your show. And um, you don't realize, it's fun while you're doing it, but the amount of work that goes in to your show, it's like a Broadway show. Every week. Every single week. It really is, because the production of us, right, and I mean, no, there's no margin for error. It's strange, I know. It's, yeah. very, it's very strange. When you work television, it's like, when we did the Sunny and Cher show, I didn't have to do that much, you know? And, yeah. and Sunny was there, and we had six guys or five guys, and everyone, and, and guests. So yeah. there wasn't everything for me to do, and now I'm in everything. Sometimes I wonder if people say, my God, get her out. I don't want her. Not in yeah. everything. Not in just no. I'd like no. to see her introduce and then split. No, that, that isn't, they, uh, they don't feel that way, but you do have to make a lot of decisions and editorial decisions that you didn't have to make. But what you got, George Slaughter, and he must yeah, be a he's big, terrific. Yeah, funny man. He really, really funny is. Man. We call him the hammer. The hammer? Yeah. <laughs> because he's just whack. Yeah, Whaley, That's it. Whaley puts on the German helmet. He's <laughs> really call him the hammer. When you started to do the show, though, uh, did you seek advice from anybody you trusted, like fellow performers and, or... Before I started the show, it was really strange. I, I didn't know if I'd, I'd work on television again. I didn't even know if I'd work. Yeah. I kind of thought maybe, you know, this might be the end. Because I knew people loved Sonny and Cher, but I was, I kind of always wondered if they loved Sonny and Cher or Sonny and Cher one word, you know? Yeah. And, and so I called Lucy. Yeah. Oh. He's and, the right person to call. Right. And I said, Lucy, what should I do? I really just, I don't know. What should I do? And she said, get out there and give him hell, kid. And yeah. Uh, yeah. so I, I kind of just decided yeah. that I would. She's a great person to call because uh, Lucy is, is kind of a uh, big mama. I mean, she really, she really cares is. about other people. She's um, experienced it, all of it. She's gone through the same thing you went through. And uh, I think that's probably you call the best person in the world because she'd been part of a team for years and years and years. But with the way you work now, you're on vacation, you were on vacation for a while. You have much time for anything you'd like to do personally or do you just rest and do nothing else when you have a vacation? I don't know. I, uh, I kind of like doing nothing yeah. when I have a vacation. I kind of like not having to be at the studio and yeah. not having to be any place. And, and not having just, to have a schedule. Right. Just kind yeah. of, you know, float from place to place. Chas and I have been having a kind of a good time in, in this vacation, just playing. And yeah. I went on a tour of Los Angeles uh, at nine o'clock last, no, two weeks ago. <laughs> and uh, it was terrific with 25 kids. And we went, we started off at the La Brea Tar Pits. And then we went to um, Alvera Street. Sure. And, and at, Alvera, at Alvera Street, we picked up two other classes of kids who thought it was terrific that I was there uh -huh. and started running after us. And then we went to a church and I was the only lady there that could explain Catholicism to the kids. So I'm explaining and I said, and the candles for this and the statues mean this and blah, blah, blah. And then one little kid, Kenny, came up and he said, I saw the movie, Jesus Christ Superstar. I know the whole thing. <laughs> I said, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I love it. Well, do you, 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 you date every once in a while though. You oh, work with somebody special? Yeah, I do. It's strange. If you read the magazines, I date oh. constantly. I don't know when I get my show done between Elvis and Robert Redford and... Oh, that's not a bad else. group. I know, it's a nice sandwich. Yeah. Of course, I've never met the two. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've never met either one of them? No. It's, I, I never met, I've never met Elvis. Sonny's met him. I yeah. never met Robert Redford. And You'd like to, though. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd like to meet Robert Redford. Yeah. That'd be fun. I, I, yeah, he's cute. Yeah. But uh, all the publicity that you get, you know, in those magazines. I mean, is it true about me and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. Not the whole choir. It was just all the guys. Of them, all yeah. of them. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, you don't read that stuff. I do. No, you must read it. I know. Do you I have to talk to you. You must not read I'm it. I'm going to stop because it's really starting to hurt my feelings. It's strange. Raquel told me, she said, you're going to go through this thing. She said, first you're going to be interested. Then you're going to be amused. And she said, then you're going to be devastated. Yeah. Because in the beginning, you kind of think, oh, it's Robert Redford. They cut his wife out, superimposed me. That's kind of interesting. And then, then you start reading the stories, which you know are so crazy. I mean, uh, out of whole cl fabrication. I mean, it's really. And and then all of a sudden, it starts making you a little bit feel bad, a little yeah. bit 
insecure or something. It's so... Well, you... God, you're on all of them, too. Oh, I... I don't read them. Am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm telling you, it got to a point there where I wouldn't... I didn't want to go to the grocery store, or if I did, I'd, I'd walk like this past the magazine rack. I didn't want to see if I... You know, if I was on... I and I either. think that's the best thing in the world. Just hide your head in the sand and, and just don't read them. You can't you read know, them. But you know what the awful part is? That people think that if it's written, it's true. It isn't. But it isn't. And they don't understand that you cannot sue these companies because what it is is... Um, a company, they'll have like 15 magazines, 15 companies, and then you'll want to sue them, and they just fold the magazine. And then they open it up under another name, and another company, and right. it's, it's gone. And, and then also, if you've sued them, you've called attention to it. Right. And people say, what, what was she talking about? Oh, <laughs> yummy, yum. And you've boosted the circulation of something that's just, you know, numbing. It's awful. And it's, a, it's a pain. What do you look for now in, in a fellow that you date, besides a mustache? You've always gone with fellows with mustaches. I like hairy faces. I don't know. I thought about growing a beard. It didn't work. So no, I, see, I don't think it would. I don't know. I don't look for. I don't look for anything anymore. I mean, I just, I just call them as I see them. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, I just, I like, um, I like different kinds of people, and I, I kind of, in my old age. Yes. <laughs> Poor no. baby. This is, I just I celebrated my last birthday. I hit no. the big 3-0 and that's it. I'm yeah, not going no to. more. You're smart. I don't think I can hit the big 3-0. I just, something about no, you, that makes me feel awful. No, you backed it. Don't worry about it, Cher. I'm, 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 when I get I'm there, against, I'm not going to worry <laughs> okay. about it. But I tell you, I'm not going to let it bother me. Not for a minute. But I, what you do is you're back. See it or hear it in the house. They, they go out in the street. And you know, I, I think over. really important because I'm just going through this now, as everybody knows. But uh, the one thing that I that I think is terrific about Sonny and our divorce, or Sonny and my divorce, wh which I mean, I guess there's nothing really terrific about it. But if you have to do it, this is important if you have a child, and that's that the parents are kind of nice to each other mm -hmm. around the children and and have find some common ground. It's like, I see Sunny all the time, and, and Sunny lives like 30 seconds from my house, and we talk on the telephone, and Chastity is over there with him all the time, and our, well, our situation is so strange, but I mean, we're suing each other, which is really a strange thing, mm -hmm. but it has nothing to do with really how we feel about each other personally. It's, he believes that it should be one way, he believes that I did something, and that I should pay him a certain amount of money, and I believe that I shouldn't. So that's something that we almost never discuss. But when we're around each other, and when I talk about you're going to see your dad and blah, 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 she, she doesn't feel any kind of animosity, and, and she doesn't feel anything bad about either one of us from the other one. That's because you have respect for each other personally, and I think that's the key to, uh, you know, if, if you can... Uh, well, give you also have the other situation, you know, where the parents are doing numbers on each other to the oh, kids. Oh, that's it. I mean, it, it's a very common thing, and it happens, and, uh, and they wonder why they have troubled children. Yeah. How about you, Phyllis? Well, I think it's time that I told Cher that I, too, see Sonny all the time. 